are some of the most productive marine habitats in the world. More productive, for instance, than coral reefs. At least as productive as estuaries, and in fact, probably more productive than estuaries. So we are off the coast of California, specifically Long Beach. We are at Platform Eureka. It's in the E oil field off of California. And we're here to do some education and outreach in regards to how important the biodiversity and the life on these platforms is. Oil production off California actually started a long time ago in California, late 1800s, off of Huntington Beach. They actually used redwood trees. Um, so California has a long history of oil and gas. Most of the platforms that we see here were built in the 70s and early 80s, and they're very productive. So they're likely, these are likely to last. Um, some of the other ones in less productive fields are the ones that are likely to be taken out in the next 10 years, starting hopefully this January. At some point, all offshore oil platforms become uneconomical to operate. And then the question is, what do you do with them? And that process by which you decide what you're going to do with them is called decommissioning. One of the factors that's going to play into this decision making is how important are platforms as habitat for animals, and in particularly for uh, fishes. What I have found really has been um, uh, eye-opening, that platforms are extremely productive places. What we would like to see is these platforms converted into artificial reefs permanently and added into the reserve of marine protected areas here in California, sort of as hot spots offshore for life. It's our position that in some cases it may make more sense and have more environmental benefits if we could do a partial decommissioning, retain this artificial reef structure, um, but then use any cost savings to the oil industry to actually fund uh, more ocean uh, conservation and management and really fill some of the, the important uh, funding gaps that we have in the state to actually manage our marine resources and promote ocean health. We think the oil companies should be held to the standard that they accepted. When they built the platforms, they said, when we're done, we're going to remove these and restore the marine environment to its natural condition. So we feel like that's the safer way to go in the long term. And that's why we have opposed legislation that allows the rigs to be left. It may make sense for some of those rigs to just cut them off at about 80 feet below uh, the surface of the water, what's called a partial decommissioning. Um, make sure the wells are capped and so there's no oil spills or any other environmental degradation, but basically to leave that structure in place and leave it in place as a no fishing zone so it can continue to serve that role of rebuilding fish populations. issue because when you look at the platform you don't see an artificial reef especially if you're not a diver or a fisherman all you see is steel beams and you think oil you think gas you think oil spill it's time for us to sort of step outside the box and think creatively about the resources that we have and so to lose that just because it's on an oil platform structure I feel like it's short-sighted